Okay, today we're going to talk about the green flag in Scratch. Essentially, the green flag in Scratch is the start button. So what you would normally, uh, you know, for any game that you would play, the green flag is that start button. And normally when we actually use Scratch, you know, this is the coding environment, but when we actually use Scratch, we make it full screen, and this is your start button for that. Okay? So when you use that use it for things that you would use for the start of your game that could be um, characters and their locations and so you know for this character maybe every time the game starts i want it to be off this location maybe during the game it's ended up moving so the start location of that character and we could you know use the go to like this we could also on the backdrops use that green flag to change other things as well. Maybe we want to change the backdrop. And we want you know switch between different backdrops, things like that. And so we could add that with the green flag as well. The other thing you can do with this is with variables. Maybe you want to reset your variable, set your variable back to zero. You know, you're playing a game, it's collected coins or you know different points and things like that. And in your game, it's going to you know obviously change your variable and the value of it and so you want to set that variable back to zero and you can stack these and so on the green flag you know you could have that somewhere either with a character with in the backdrop and everything on your game that you want to reset back to the beginning use that with your green flag put them on that and then when you hit the green flag they all go back to that location so for example if this character had been moving around the screen and now it's up here and now I hit the green flag, that character is going to be back to that location. And when I hit that green flag, no matter what it is, um, let me just actually make a second backdrop here. And we'll make it a baseball field. So when I go to my backdrops, I have you know a blank one and then the baseball field. Well, in my code, I want it to go back to backdrop one when I hit the green flag. And my character, maybe he had hit a... You know, he's on first base or whatever. Or now he's the pitcher, and I want him to go back over to here. When I hit the green flag, it's going to go back to that first backdrop, and that character's going to move. So no matter where I have the green flag, whether it's in the character or in the backdrops, it's going to activate when I hit the green flag. Okay, so essentially the green flag is the start button. Very helpful with any game that you're going to be using and creating. And I hope that helps you with your coding. Good luck.